I probably really shouldn't be doing a video today because, well, I'm not feeling the best. It's Friday, um, but we're going to do a video and I'm not going to be able to um, <laughs> be very animated, although saying that I'm already starting to come to life, so I suppose that's okay. Um, but I apologise about this video. It's going to be crap. It's literally going to be crap, but I need to record a video because... I really wanted to do Thursday Talks yesterday, I really wanted to record a video yesterday, but I just thought it would be best not to do it, and I'm kind of glad I did that, because getting a rest was so much better. But anyway, we're on eBay, and I thought to myself, why don't we type in job lots, because I'd quite like to get a little Doctor Who um, figures job lot, even though I'm not meant to be buying at the moment, because I'm meant to be actually selling stuff and um, getting rid of stuff so then I can go to university um, but when you're feeling a little bit ill and it's locked down and everything as well at the same time you've got to give yourself something aren't you so oh for god's sake I really shouldn't do this video anyway right okay I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best right okay let's go here let's go on this one I don't, I don't even know whether I'll be able to do these calculations properly. I'll have to write them down and stuff. Right, so who's done this really, really small photo? Captain Jack. Ooh, got a Sil Silurian. Not a brilliant photo. I can't really see. Oh, whoa, we've got a little, um... We've got a ship that crashed into Big Ben. I've never even seen... I've been selling Dot Two figures for a while. I've never even seen that ship. That's cool. Right, bugger it. Um... Silorian's gonna be 15 quid. What's that called? A Zygon. The Zygon. There we go. Right, I've got it. Zygon's gonna be like 13 quid. That ship. I want to try and see it. Let, let's go on to another tab and see that ship. B brand new in the box for a fiver. But it's still, it's interesting. So we've got a couple of Sonics. We've got a Jadoom Platoon pod there. Uh, we've got Rivers Sonic Screwdriver. I don't know what the Sonic Screwdrivers go for, to be honest. Do you have a bid or not? It's a bit. Nah, it's a bit thin on the ground. Nine figures for 21 quid, that's a bit much. Wanna check that one out. Got Billy Mare. Got Billy Mare, oh my god, nice. Captain Jack, 11th Doctor Regeneration, Brannigan, Novice Haim, um, Cigarax, Laszlo, Dalek Hybrid, Jadoon, Scarecrows, Lilith again, Rose, Doctor Who, 10th uh, Doctor Regeneration outfit, 9th uh, Doctor outfit, Slovene Pigs, Autons, Weeping Angels, The Master. Oh, I've got some good stuff in there. The, the Gelf Zombie. Um, we've got Ger the, Ger uh, the Derek Jacobi mas Master, Pig Slave, uh, the Mox of Balhoon. I always forget his name. We've got some good ones, Captain Jack. Oh, we've got an Ood in there as well. Uh, no, to be honest, they're not good ones, but I just like them because I have an attack. I have an over attachment to Doctor Who. Um, well, saying that, I've not actually watched it in about three months, so I'm actually doing good. I'll get withdrawal sometime soon. We've got Mickey in there as well, and Martha. Um, right, how many of these is there? Forty-two figs. Forty-two divided by four. What's forty-two divided by four? Damn. Maths work! 10? God, we're gonna go for 10. Yeah, that's too much for it at 60 quid. Well, that was good. 10, that's £13 a set for 4. Because I'm just doing that generically. £13 a set for 4. That's 10, that's 130 quid. Mine should postage and everything. It's like, no, no way. Doctor, uh, I always forget his name. Doctor Constantine, I think. Uh, we've got the editor, we've got Captain Jack. Martha, David Tennant in two variants. We've got um, Rose, not the same. Master, uh, Ninth Doctor, Lazlo, uh, Pig Slave, and Auton, a Roman uh, duplicate. Nest uh, not, uh, yeah, well, yeah, a nesting duplicate, but you know what I mean. Uh, Lilith, um, Roman Auton again, a nesting duplicate. Toby with his little things on his face, and then, yeah, bugger it, 15 quid. How many is there? Nine. 17, bugger that, it's not worth, I'm not doing that, 15 quid. Buggering hell, everyone's putting them on for too much money. 
No wonder it's gone for that much. Yet. That Dav, that's the older Davros as well. I bet that's like a thirty quid figure on his own. I don't, I don't know. I'm just guessing, but I think it is. It must be like a thirty quid figure. So I'm sure that's a Michael Wisher version of Davros. And then look at all the classic Daleks around him. I think that gold one goes for really good money. Actually, you see that gold one there. Um, so yeah, pretty decent. Oh god, that's a nice little bundle. Though one of them's broke at the back. Got some nice classic Cybermen. That one there, um, I think that's a two, Tomb of the Cybermen, Cyberman. Then we've got a Tenth Planet Cyberman. And then we've got... Is that an Earthshock one? Or is that... No, no, that might be um, Revenge of the Cybermen one. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, they go for around 10 quid a pot. Actually, you know, you probably get more for the Tenth uh, Planet one. But that one I've got 10... No, actually, I got 10 quid before because one of the things was broken on it so actually you probably get a bit more than 10 quid for it gas mask zombie boy in there whatever you call him i don't know what he's actually called gas mask child i think he's called something like that he goes for a tenner you can get a tenner for him on his own well you used to be able to i've got a tenner for him a couple of times on his own doctor actually bundled with dr constantine you probably got like 15 quid for the two of them uh cyberman we've got some smiler people in there K9, Robot Man, Mickey. I don't know, that's not Mickey, that's Toby. He has the same, oh, he has a very similar shirt as Mickey on there, actually. Werewolf, actually, Werewolf is one that gets undersold so much. The Werewolf, everyone puts on for like three quid. And you can get a tenner for the Werewolf. It's like, what? You, you know, everyone putting it on for three quid or whatever when we do it singularly. Bugger, I don't think there's enough in there. I don't think there's enough. This is a shout, this one, because you've got uh, the little Amelia in there, which you can get 10 quid for her. If you wait it out a bit, you can get 10 quid for her. You've got the Silence. For a bundle of three of them, you'll be able to get, like, 20 quid or something, maybe even a bit more. I got a bu I got f uh, 30 quid, I think, for a bundle of four, so that's not too bad. Oh, my God, Churchill's in there. I've never even... I've never even seen Churchill. That's... I've never even had Churchill. Oh, that's sick. You got the creator in there, which I've not even had before. You got Missy in there. They must be the 3.5 range then. Some of these must be the 3.5s. Surely. I don't even know. but um, And then we've got the Paradigm Daleks in there. I don't know what they go for. I guess they go for maybe about 15 quid a time. Let's, let's check. Let's have a check. Don't know how you spell Paradigm. I think that's it. Paradigm Dalek. Yeah, it is. Cool. 12.99 the red one. 35 quid best offer for... Five. Oh, yeah, there's one, like, 18 quid there. That's a guy who sells quite a lot of this stuff. I always see his background. 12.99 plus post on the blue one. Yeah, I mean, give or take, it's 15 quid. Give or take. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, 15 quid for each of those. I mean, he's got quite a few of them. He's got maybe five, but then these ones on the bottom, those two on the side at the bottom, I think, are different. He's got a couple of classic... No, he's got a free classic... And then a World War One zombie, the World War One Dalek. So that's like seventy-five quid just in that top row of Daleks. Then in that row, you've probably got a further like seventy quid. So it's like over a hundred quid there. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, the Rory figure goes for good money, I'm sure. Or one of the variants of him does. Thir Thirteen quid, the Rory figure. That's actually pretty good for Doctor Who figures, though, because a lot of figures are just, like, bundle fodder. Um, there's only certain ones that are actually over a tenner for, like, a single figure. I want to do the Churchill one, because I've never had the Churchill one, and my bet is that it actually goes for half-decent money. Yeah, look at that, twenty four ninety nine for that Victory of the Daleks Chur Churchill figure. So, yeah, I mean, that must be a fairly rare figure, because I, I have not seen it before. That's cool. Um, we've got a couple of Daleks on the bottom there. There must be... I want to say close to 200 quid in the Daleks. There must be close to 200 quid in the Daleks. I want to do the, uh, Clara figure. Yeah, I mean, it might be a 10 on its own on Buy It Now. Yeah, 9, nine quid on Buy It Now. 10 quid on Buy It Now. Yeah, it's a 10 on its own, that figure. So there's actually some figures in here. The creator. I've never had the creator, I don't think. Oh, bugger this. This might actually be a good one to go on. 
If he's getting like 20 quid, but the problem is he's not got his walking stick, so I might be able to get a bit less than that for him. That, um, what's the name? Oh, I don't know what her name is in the, I mean, I know she's, Type in TARDIS human form. See, eleven ninety nine for that figure. Six quid plus plus. Because I've got a tenner for that figure before. Pretty sure they have anyway. Bugger this. I'm going to go. I, I might go on this, you know. I might go on this. I know it's like 157 quid. But God, there's looking like there's some good. That, um. Yeah, that's a ten. I, actually, I'm seeing a few ten quid figures in here as well. Right, I need to do some. I need to do some serious adding up on this. Right, let's do, I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll do some adding up. So, I've just done some adding up. Roughly, there is £385 worth of resale value in that lot. Um, we can see here it's on for 157 now. As I say, that is give or take. Some of the kind of figures I was just doing rough calculations for, I didn't go through all of them. And also, some of them, the ones that I didn't go through, that I kind of had knowledge weren't worth a lot of money anyway. I'll just bundle them up and maybe do four for a ten or something like that. So... Yeah, it's kind of three hundred and eighty five pound in retail resale value, hundred and fifty seven quid it's on for I mean it's okay. There's a bit there's a bit of money in there, but by the time you cause some of these items are going on free post, by the time you take off some of that postage and stuff, but by the time you're taking off postage and fees, there's not a lot in it. Um so yeah, I really do want some of these but I don't know. I don't know, and on like some of these, I do tend to shoot a little bit under on on the price. So potentially, it could be a little bit more than that. It might be four twenty, four thirty, something like that. So if I have a bid now, then there is still the chance of making okay money, really, because I've got that little extra bit of leeway. But still, one hundred and fifty-seven quid. It's right on the line for me. It's just. It, it it just gone over the line kind of thing. I'm like, oh, should I or shouldn't I? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna calculate something on here because before I make a bid or anything. Right, so just done a bit of calculating. So we've got um 157 quid. Well no actually that should be 164 quid. So I've already got it wrong because of the postage. I'm going to have to pay 7 quid postage. So that brings that down to 121. Okay, so 100, uh, 400 quid uh, sales value. Let's start with that. So 400, 400 quid sales value, give or take a little bit either side. 20, 30 quid either side, something like that. But it should be around that. More so to the other side of it, not the la latter side of it. Not 370, 380s. More likely you're going to be... 410, 420, 430. Um, so that equals £243 if you minus the £147. Oh, wait, no, no, it's going to be less than that. There we go. I've still not done it right for there. So 136, right. So that equals uh, £236 because it's £164, not £157. So then what we have to do, take off eBay fees from that, which I've calculated it of 50 quid uh paypal fees off that which is 15 quid and also 50 quid for postage now some of this stuff will have postage on top and that will be on top of the 400 pounds so that's calculated um as a as another thing altogether really so that's the um sale price without postage included 400 quid so if we were to calculate the overall sale price it might be 460 something like that i don't know but that's without postage. But as I say, some of them will be free post. So I have to account for that postage on the back end. So 50 quid accounting for postage. Uh, it might be a little bit over, might be a little bit under. I'm not sure, but it'll be around that. So then that's £115. Minus the £115 off the £236, you get £121 net profit. Now, of course, you've got other hidden costs and stuff in that. Um, you know, I mean... Uh, 
discounting my own time, of course, but let's say hidden costs like petrol and all, all those kind of little bits and bobs, um, packaging materials, there's, there's loads of other little hidden costs, um, but they won't, in the grand scheme of things, they won't account for damaging this specific profit loads or anything like that. But £121, so if I'm spending 164 quid to make 121 quid, it's not really 100%, and I like 100%. When I'm doing um, snipes on eBay, you know, when I'm getting a job lot, for example, I pay 100 quid for it. I want, let's say, 100 quid net profit back off that job lot. Now, with things like this, a lot of these figures, I am literally just going to be selling individually, whack them in a jiffy bag, off you go, pretty easy. You know, not really that hard to pack or anything. So because they're not as hard to pack, it's kind of makes you... And because it's something I love doing, it's not as bad. But it's whether I want to sink 157 quid into something that I'm going to get 121 quid back. Because if you think about it, when we go to a charity shop or a car boot, we pick up something for a quid, sell it for, for £10, right? So imagine you sinking £157 into £1 items at the charity shop that you can get a tenner back for. Then you've turned 157 quid into, what, 1000 uh, and 1,570, is that right, I think, something like that, so imagine that, and then you imagine it in comparison with something like this, you think, well, really, it's not brilliant, it's not a huge margin, but sometimes that's how you have to play it with different markets, for example, when you're sniping, when you're maybe even sometimes bidding on an online auction, sometimes it's, it's a different ball game, so you have to look at it in different terms. You can't necessarily compare it to things like that. But at the end of the day, if you can get your stock in a more cost-effective way like that I've just mentioned at the charity shop or the car boot, then it begs the question, why do you even bother doing this You know, when you can get it stock so cost-effective there? Obviously, we're in a different um field of opportunity at the moment, a different landscape at the moment with lockdown and all the rest of it. But um, And so people do have to basically pay up for stock. Um, not myself, because obviously I'm not buying stock at the moment. But it's um, so it is a different landscape at the moment and that taken into account you then just have to get take what you can get essentially. So if I was buying stock at the moment, like if I was really buying stock at the moment, I'd probably just shoot on this pretty much straight away. Um, because the likelihood is I might be able to get a little bit more than 121 net profit. The likelihood is it's probably around £150 net profit with obviously accounting for some of these items that maybe I've underestimated the price on. And so therefore, you know, I've, I've got a bit more that way. Um, and so, you know, that's not that's not as bad. Um, so am I going to bid on this? Uh, I think I am. I think I am going to bid on it. I've not bought anything to resell in four months i've not bought anything to retail in four months so it's a hard one for me this because i don't particularly want to buy it at this price and that's why i say you know it, it i kind of do and i don't but because i've not bought anything in four months i'm hanging i'm hanging so I think we're going to have a bid. Let's actually, we, we need put like, it'll actually be more anyway because I'm going to have to put 58 or 59 quid in here, but that's not too bad. I'll I'll, I'll take that. So let's see. I might not even get it. Let's, oh. Right, okay. Oh, I have to bid 162. Um, bugger it. I bid 162. Oh, God, I'm not going 167. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. I want you. I want you. I want you, baby. Come on. Right, one six seven. But I'm not going higher than that. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Right. Okay. Okay. That's bad, though. That's bad. It's it's stuff I enjoy selling, so it's cool. Right. Okay. Three hours left. Now we wait. No, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not going to wait here for three hours. Right. Okay. I'll leave it there for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was a very weird video. I'm not feeling up to standard at the moment, but I needed to do a video. I'm. I um. It's kind of a selfish thing. I apologise because um, I, I just need to do a video. Um, but also, it, hopefully it entertains you a little bit. And then, um, 
it kind of works as a selfish, unselfish thing, if you know, you know what I mean. But it's more of a selfish thing. I want you to know that because I really do want to do a video. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. It's probably gonna it's probably been a long video. This I feel like I've been recording for about four hours or something.